Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when they when they hear, so definitely please. Uh line them up all the way out down the door, down the street, around the corner, through the bushes, and over the river. Hey. Line them up, man. We'll take all of them. Hey, Bring me up. This is yeah. special with the neighbors, huh? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> man. You know, man, I could have respect enough, man. Because one thing about it, everybody start pushing away their haters right now. Yeah. Everybody's like, hey, stop hating. You know, okay. Yeah. And I feel for the haters. I mean, if you don't, I don't, you know, I kind of do too. You know, what's the point, man? Why you just can't be happy for another man's success? Okay, but you know what? I'm gonna tell somebody. I can, I'm gonna tell you guys. Like, we was talking the other night about haters, mm-hmm. and I got an understanding about them. I think that them hating is a form of respect that they don't know how to channel their respect mm-hmm. in a positive way. Right. You know what I mean? So they say, hey, look, I really respect and honor what this man is doing because I wish I could be this man. You know what I mean? I wish I could do what he's doing. I really honor and respect it, but I don't know how to channel that positively. Right. So instead, it's okay. Forget what he's doing. Right. It doesn't matter. Right. I screw this guy. Follow this kid, guy, whatever it is. You know what I mean? But it's, it's still flattering. Right. It's still right. flattering. And they, they're sensitive, so you got to bring them in. Just understand, hey, I understand. Thank you for respecting me. Thank you for honoring me. I just noticed you got a little issue that you can't express yourself positively. Right. But come to me. Dirty Red will take care of that. Okay. Now, we going to go to Dirty Red. Yes, sir. So, tell me what you my boy. Yes, sir. Oh, you know man. what I mean? On time. We go back. On time. But tell the fans a little something about the man Dirty Red. Dirty Red. Me, born in Champaign, Illinois. It was a bona fide country fry. Oh, okay. Bona fide yeah. country fry. You know what I mean? Love that. town. <laughs> Got good morals, good principles, man. You know, I lived the life. I did what I did. Life showed up in my life. Mm. Uh, I went through various trials, tribulations. But, you know, through all of them, I overcame. Kept God first. Through all that, you know yeah, what I mean? I finally important. found my calling with music. Right. You know, it's heavy in my background. My father, my grandfather. Okay. You know, big shout out to Steve Holmes, Candy, love you. Mm-hmm. Um, so with me, it was just like a hard head mix of the soft rear end. Right. You know, I finally found my call and I'm doing it now. And I just really trying to reach a diverse crowd, you know, trying to see that everyone can have good music in their lives, whether right. it comes from a black man, a white man, a yellow man, bling, a green girl, whatever. Right. It doesn't matter, you know what I mean? There's no color lines and that, hey, good music still exists, and that's what I'm trying to bring to the people. Okay. It's the truth, you know, good right. music, hence the truth. Big, 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 big shout out to Looney Tunes, Graphics, we love you. Y'all give it to me, it's, 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 it's plug in. Hope I didn't do it. So everybody saw that, it's the truth. You can buy these copies, so yeah. yeah. Hey, I also want to get out, give a shout out to uh, Darius Duncan. What's up, little homie? I love you, boy. Better be at your house chilling. Got you. See you soon, baby boy. So, I really, really proud of you, man. Yeah, man I'm for you know what I mean? For everything you've done with, with your life, with yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm turning all that negative. And no matter how hard the devil try, you still you beat that, right? You know what I mean? I'll pray yeah, I'm really supporting God, this man right here, man. I'll That's what y'all better do. Man. This it shit can happen. Hey, but it happen. Stand up, Red. Let him know. Stand up for him. Stand up for him. Yeah, stand up for him. We said it. They, they said it couldn't happen, man. Yep. But I'm living proof that it can happen. Real talk. All glory be to God. I'm never going to take him out of the equation. Because it's a whole lot of you cats that's watching this right now. Men, women, lovely children of life that know where I came from. Y'all know what I was doing and how I was getting down. But look at me, bro. I'm going to suffer the world. It's a whole nother change. Yes. All praises be to God. God has all power. Anything is possible when you lean and put your faith towards him first and foremost, man. So all these cats that don't think they got to put God in it, you're wrong. Believe me, I'm going to put mine in there first. And don't get it twisted. I'm still the same on me, but I'm big and better now. And get the album. Uh, <laughs> check it out. Nice to the album, man. So, yeah. hey, I want to let me say this, though. Can we tell them where to get it? Like, yeah, where, where can you get the album at? After the 27th, you know, do we got a, um, like, any promo thing to show? Um, no, wrong thing. Anyway, the 27th, yeah. while we wait on the thing. Okay. The 27th album is dropping. You can find it on iTunes. 
Now hiring haters. Zoom in on this. Yeah, let me see. Yeah. There you go. Now hiring haters. You got your job application right here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Get it. Look. Yeah, there go that now I'm hiring. Where is that, that now up. hiring? Get it. Let's get that. Yeah. That's the next one on the lingo. Y'all get right. it. Right. So um you guys can go pick that up. They can pick that up at um it'll be on iTunes, C Baby, Amazon, pretty much in every major um digital connection as far as retailers. Uh -huh. you can pick it up on any one of the major ones, like I said, iTunes, Amazon, C Baby, but main, mainly and most of all I want everybody to go to topsecretnow.com. Okay. That's my site. Go buy it through my site. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. They're going to get yeah. the money, send it straight through the family. Let's keep it in the yeah. family. You know what I mean? It's going to make you'll still go through iTunes, but you go through me first to get the iTunes. You know, let's keep it real. Let's do it like that. Show your love. TopSecretNow.com. We're going to really start pushing that. It's a lovely family. Hey, would you yeah. like to ask me about Top Secret? No, what I would like to ask you about, though, we're going to get to Top Secret. All right. But you know. When we when I ask you the question, you know, give the fans a little bit about Dirty Rick, mm -hmm. okay? I know we we discussed a little bit about you know going back to you had hard times, this and that. Is there anything that you want to share? Let me, let me ask you this: What at what point in your life did you finally like just realize that this music thing is time to? Leave the negative alone. You know what I mean? It's time to get my head on right. And it's time to make this, you know, happen. What what <laughs> made you go from the streets to the pen and paper? Oh man. Be totally honest, it was this last time, man, when I, I did a bid. Mm -hmm. I had a two year bid this last time. I've been going in and out of jail all my life. You yeah. know what I mean? Spent half my life locked up. But this last time, it was something about this last time, man. It was just like, I had a new baby born. Mm -hmm. I was really, I had my heart was in the streets. Right. My heart my heart was really in the streets, you know what I mean? And at that point, I had, I was just regaining the trust and love back through, you know, my family members and all those that I hurt right. in the past. So I was just getting that, that trust and stuff built back up right. and landed back in there. But I was, but you know, I was still on the, be on the right path. Even though I went in there and landed myself in there, there was something inside me, but you know, I really want to be right. I'm tired. Right. I got tired. And my grandma would always tell me, she said, baby, you're not going to be done because you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Right. Okay. And I found out what it felt like to be sick what and tired. What it actually means to be what sick really and tired means, of being sick and tired. You know what I'm saying? And I got in there and got sick and tired. Yeah, I, I know I, I, I asked you that because I know this one of your songs you were talking to your daughter. Yeah, and all my kids. In that, in that, in that song, it's like you can feel the regret that you had for not, I guess, being there yeah, like you were supposed to. Right. Yeah, you know what I mean. You felt that. So that apology, you know, it's like the way you felt and the way you delivered that song. Any man in that situation will be able to understand exactly what you're talking about. You know what I mean? That's how you can tell you put your heart in that song. Y'all should really, really check this out, man. Check this music out. Yeah, man. That was a heavy song, man. Yeah, that, that, it's a very heavy song, that, man. That's a cool song. Yeah, right the song's there, called Tired. So. Uh, <laughs> actually, what, like, it's an intro on the song. Uh, that song right now, it's hard for me to really listen to that song. Now. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was hard to write the song. First of all, it was even harder to spit the song, and it's even harder to listen to the song yeah. for me. Because my son wrote me a letter when I was in there, and he, at that time, I think he was like seven, six. He was six. Mm -hmm. And he wrote me a letter. The only thing the letter said was, Dear Daddy, when are you coming home? I miss you. Love, friend. And I was dead. And I read that letter over and over again, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just kept reading it over and over, man. Tears pouring out my eyes like it, it was, that was it. You know, you can see them little scribbles of a little six-year-old. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it was just so sincere. And those words was like, man, all he knew was, <laughs> that when you coming home, yeah. I miss you. And 
man, that was the most devastating words I could have ever read, man. And it was like, that was enough for me, man. You know, that was enough. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. Sick and tired, man. Sick and tired, man. We're going to take a short break for a little, sir. You can go ahead and have a conversation.